Siko has arrived on the dreaded Katina Abuja Highway, renowned for acts of kidnapping and banditry. A hundred troops of the Nigerian Army Women Corps are now on the road to keep the peace. They are the first batch of 300 to be deployed there. Tessa McKenzie reports. The female soldiers who are of the Nigerian Army Women Corps and now at their base at Kakao, along the highway. They are to complement operations along the highway and its environs. Kaduna State Governor Nasi Erufai is here to receive them with other members of the State Executive Council. He believes things will be a lot better with their addition to other troops on the road. Whenever men are unable to solve a problem, get a woman, she will solve it. So we are very happy that the female troops are here. It's a great opportunity for them. And um, I am quite confident that they will discharge themselves to the highest standards of professionalism known with the Nigerian army. I'm not uh, worried at all. In fact, I'm gratified that they have finally brought uh, women to, the, uh, to address the problem, and I'm sure things should be better. The governor pledges commitment of his government to them succeeding. Nasir Arufai and his team then proceeds to inspect their operational base. He thereafter commits to giving it a facelift. It's a gesture senior officers appreciate in no small measure. They also commit to optimal delivery. They will be stationed here while the other 50 will be at Giri. They will add value. And uh, whether I would like it or not, they are present on the road because uh, they are well trained. The troops will be on the road for the next foreseeable future. It's a period they assure enemies of peace will be dealt with squarely. The personnel, according to the authorities, will be working round the clock to ensure that the Kaduna Abuja Highway is safer. And to this, these troops say they are committed. Tessim Akende, TVC News, Kaduna.